Morse Cali Bolnos 1915. The Continental Cali, shown to the press in April 1915, was a larger engine, 1,495 cc against 1,018 cc, longer, wider and better equipped version of the first Morse Oxford with the same Bolnos radiator, in addition it could carry a four-passenger body. To reduce the price many components were bought from United States suppliers. The 1495 cc, side valve, four-cylinder engine was made by Continental Motor Manufacturing Company of Detroit, and the clutch and three-speed gearbox by Detroit Gear and Machine Company back axle, front axle and steering gear also came from the USA. Supply of these components was badly affected by World War I. The suspension used semi-elliptic leaf springs at the front and three-quarter elliptics at the rear. The central position of the handbrake and ball change gear lever revealed the gearbox's U.S. origin. It also made for easy entry through the driver's door and no cold steel up a driver's leg. The petrol tank was in the scuttle and its filler was above the gear lever in the center of the dashboard. The U.S. made back axle was the first helically cut drive in a quantity produced British car. Electric lighting was standard. It was the first Morse car to be sold like that. The 6-volt Lucas lamps were a set of 5, powered by a belt-driven dynamo fixed to the engine by its cylinder head studs. The cost of these few electrical components was equivalent to 59% of the cost of the imported engine. The delivery van body was not provided with electric lighting. There was no austerity for the Cowley though it was at first slightly cheaper than the Oxford. There was diamond pattern buttoned-up holstery in real leather set off by mahogany cappings, and a proper door for the driver. The mud guards were black and the standard body color was a chocolate brown. The Cali did not become a stripped down Oxford until 1919. Although first shown to the press in April 1915 the new car was not generally available until late summer that year just when the government suddenly imposed the McKenna duties. A tax of 33% was imposed on imported luxury goods but demand for the Cali's seemed to ignore the price rises.